Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I will show you how to sort data automatically in Excel. For example, you see in columns B and C the raw sales data and in column G, H and I you see the sorted data based on sales automatically. So if I change the data of the rep Noha from 15,998 who right now is in position 6, let's say I change it to 28,459. Automatically, the order of the rep is changed based on the sales number. How can we do it? Let's get to it. Here is the sales data of different reps in the company in columns B and C. If you want to sort the data, you can always select the table go to sort and let's say you want to do a custom sort based on sales from largest to smallest and say ok. This will sort the data in place. If I change the data right now, let's say from 24,368 to 34,985, the order is not changed. So I need to again go to the procedure of selecting the data, again doing custom sort by sales, largest and largest, say ok. So every time a data is changed, you need to repeat these steps. What if you could automatically sort data in Excel? It is possible. I will show you how. Here is the raw data of sales for each rep. The first process is to assign a rank to each rep based on the sales number. So let me create a column D, which is going to be the rank. You have a function in Excel called rank, which is going to give the rank to a data based on a set of data so i'm going to put that formula here which is equal to rank of the number which here the first number is going to be c6 the reference is going to be a full table the sales table so which is from c6 to c11 and the order is descending which is going to be default if you want in ascending you need to put as one so i'm just going to leave it as it is this shows that this is on rank number 5 for the set of 6 numbers. So we need to first freeze the array. So I'm going to put function f4 and then just copy and paste the same formula down there. The rank for each rep based on a sales numbers has been assigned. Now, if I want to display the sorted data, I can do it by referring the rank numbers. So I'm going to put the sorted rank number in column G, which is one. And in this column H and I, I'd like to put the rep and the sales data referring to the rank. To achieve this, we can use the index match formula. So I'm going to go to the column H6 and type in the formula index of array. The array is going to be the whole raw data, which is from column B5 to column D11. Row number. Here I'm going to match the row number with the lookup value G6, which is my rank. The lookup array is going to be the column D of raw data, which is D5 to D11. And the match type I want exact. And the column number is going to be the column number one of this array. So I'm just going to put one. Let me freeze the lookup array with function f4 and the lookup array for the row number. Just press enter. So you can see here for rank one, the rep name is William. Let's copy the same formula for the sales. Everything else remains the same. Where again the same array the lookup value again is based on the rank or the serial number and instead of column one sales data is in column two of the raw data array and just press enter there now we can just copy this formula over there you go you have the sorted data in columns g h and i based on the raw data of columns b c and d so let's say I now change the data of MR from 21,759, which is rank number 4 to 38,564. 
that goes to rank one and here you get the sorted list automatically that is a caveat in this formula let's say i have two people with the same sales number let's say i'm going to change olivia to 20338 which is same as liam i get an error in uh, rank number five because both olivia and liam are given rank four and there is no number five and when you do index and match in the sorted data excel cannot find rank number five so how can we avoid this to take care of duplicates in the sales data we need to add a portion to our rank calculation let's go to the cell d6 to the current rank function add a countif function so we are going to do countif with the range the range is going to be always from cell c6 in this case so i'm going to freeze that cell dollar c dollar six to the current cell number so if it's going to be d6 it is up till cell c6 if you're going to count the rank for cell c7 it is going to see the data from c6 to c7 so here i'm just going to put c6 without any dollar symbols and the criteria is going to be the cell c6 this will count if the cell c6 data is repeated in the data in just above it and including that cell let me just first copy the data you can see no rank one in this data this is because our formula the count if is always going to count the current cell value also so we need to always subtract one and then i'm just going to copy this formula over there with this current formula you will have the sorted data automatically and it will also take care of duplicates so if i'm not going to have a duplicate here and just say 23459 even without duplicates all the rank numbers from 1 to 6 will be present using this technique you can have automatically sorted data which can be really helpful in generating reports without going through the same monotonous steps i hope that this tutorial was of use to you if you liked it please subscribe to my channel till next time ciao